Neil, this is Houston, radio check over. Hi, Roger, Houston, loud and clear. Roger, out. loud and clear, Houston. Roger, buzz. evaluate the uh, various paces that a person can traveling on the surface. I believe I'm out of your field of view. Is that right now, Houston? That's uh, affirmative, Buzz. You're in our field of view now. You do have to be... All right, you do have to be... Uh, Rather careful uh, to keep track of where your center of mass is. Sometimes it takes about two or three paces to uh, make sure that uh, you've got your feet underneath you. And about two or three or maybe four easy paces can bring you to a fairly smooth uh, stop. Tranquility Base, this is Houston. Can we get both of you on the camera for a minute, please? Say again, Houston. All right, we'd like to get both of you on the field of view of the camera for a minute. Neil and Buzz, uh, the President of the United States is in his office now and would like to say a few words to you, over. Go ahead, Mr. President. This is Houston out. Hello, Neil and Buzz. I'm talking to you by telephone from the Oval Room at the White House. And this certainly has to be the most historic telephone call ever made. I just can't tell you how proud we all are of what you... For every American, this has to be the proudest day of our lives. And for people all over the world, I am sure they too join with the in recognizing what an immense feat this is. Because of what you have done, the heavens have become a part of man's world. And as you talk to us from the sea of tranquility, it inspires us to redouble our efforts to bring peace and tranquility to Earth. For one priceless moment, 
in the whole history of man, all the people on this earth are truly one. One in their pride in what you have done. And one in our prayers that you will return safely to earth. Thank you, Mr. President. It's a great honor and privilege for us to be here representing not only the United States, but men of peace of all nations, and with interest and a curiosity and, and with a vision for the future. Uh, honor for us to be able to participate here today. And thank you very much, and I look forward, all of us look forward to seeing you on the Hornet on Thursday. Look forward to that very much, sir. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston, over. Roger, I've got a P-22 auto optics. Auto optics pad for you. Roger, go ahead. Roger, P-22, landmark ID, LEM, T-1-110-26-5-0. T-2-110. 3206, three miles south. Time of closest approach, 1103340. Shaft, 353, decimal 855. Trunnion, 46, decimal 495. Roll zero, pitch two five zero, yaw zero, over. Roger, thank you, read back not required. Roger out. I used to, it's very interesting to note that when I uh, kick my foot
advisors up. And I'll be consistent with what sort of footprints we have and the minimal condition of the soil. And after being out in the sunlight mile, it takes, uh, and I'm not watching Neil, Neil, you're on the cable. Okay. Yeah, link up your right foot. Right foot. Uh, it's still, your toe is still hooked in it. That one? Yeah, it's still hooked in it. Okay, you're clear now. Thank you. Now, let's, uh, let's move that over this way. Neil Armstrong has the scoop for the bulk sample collection. surface an hour now. Buzz, uh, not quite 20 minutes less than that. In general, uh, time spent uh, in the shadow doesn't seem to uh, have any Columbia, this is Houston, over. Houston, Columbia, Delta. Roger, you should have VHF AOS with the LEM right about now. VHF LOS will be at uh, 4 zero minutes, 1-5 seconds, over. 